applications to hold public events and assemblies related to the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas will be rejected, the Singapore Police Force and the National Parks Board and Parks said in a joint statement on Wednesday, October 18. The police and parks said in the statement that the decision is primarily based on their assessment of public safety and security concerns associated with such events, given the heightened tensions. The most recent conflict started when the militant group Hamas launched an attack from the Gaza Strip, firing rockets into Israel as militants breached the fortified border and took hostages. Israel has responded with airstrikes against the Palestinian enclave. More than 4,000 people have been killed on both sides since the war began, with tens of thousands more injured. The statement said that the police will not grant any permit for assemblies that advocate political causes of other countries or foreign entities or may have the potential to stir emotions and lead to public order incidents. Both Mpaks and the police stress the importance of preserving peace and harmony among different races and religions in Singapore. The statement also pointed out the sensitivity of the topic and volatility of the situation overseas and the real risk it posed for inciting public disorder. Highlighting incidents of violence reported in other countries in connection to the conflict. Last week, an Israeli staff from the Israeli embassy in Beijing was stabbed in front of a supermarket, while a Chechen man in France stabbed a teacher. Yahoo Southeast Asia understands that there are two planned events in Singapore related to the conflict, both of which were promoted on TikTok. One, called the Singapore X Palestine protest, was scheduled to occur at Marina Barrage on Wednesday at 6 p.m. The other, titled the Peace Rally for Palestine, was set to take place on Sunday at Hong Lim Park from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. The police said that public assemblies in Singapore are regulated by the Public Order Act 2009 and that organizing or participating in a public assembly without a police permit constitutes an offence. They also urged the public to engage in responsible and respectful discussions on the Israel-Hamas war and to avoid making insensitive or offensive remarks about race or religion, which could threaten Singapore's racial and religious harmony. The statement reminded individuals of the legal consequences of promoting disharmony between different racial groups in Singapore under various laws including the Penal Code and the Maintenance of Religious Harmony Act. Penalties include jail time, fines, or both for those found guilty of such offences. The police stress that they take a serious view of any acts that could potentially harm racial and religious harmony in Singapore and warned that individuals responsible for such actions would be dealt with swiftly and in accordance with the law.